Hello students, welcome to channel of Dr. Gaurav Arma. In this lecture, we will learn Gauss Quadratic Reciprocity Law. First of all, its statement is that Gauss Quadratic Reciprocity Law, if P and Q are distinct odd primes, then we have to show that the multiplication of two legendary symbols P upon Q into Q upon P is equal to minus 1 raised to power P minus 1 by 2 dot Q minus 1 by 2. This is very important. Gauss quadratic reciprocity law. Now we have given that P and Q are two distinct primes. So GCD is their one. And we know that by Gauss lemma, its legendary symbol P over Q can be written as minus 1 raised to power summation K. 1 to q minus 1 by 2 greatest integer function k p upon q according to this one if we take legendary symbol q upon p we can write it as a minus 1 raised to power p q p greatest integer function where summation runs from t 1 to p minus 1 by 2 these are these are the two expressions used by using Gauss lemma. If you doesn't know about Gauss lemma, please watch my previous video about Gauss lemma. Now we have to multiply both these things according to the law. When we multiply both these things, we get this expression. The powers are added for the minus one. Now we have to show that this power is equal to this one minus uh, one raised to power this one. So this is our main aim to prove the result. Greatest integer function of two things. Sum of two greatest integer function is equal to P minus 1 by 2 multiply Q minus 1 by 2. Aapko yaha pe ye show karke hai. Now how to prove this? Consider a set as which contains the pair x, y so that x lies between 1 to p minus 1 by 2 and y lies between 1 to q minus 1 by 2 where x and y are integers so if x has p minus 1 by 2 choices so y has q minus 1 by 2 choices so total choices of x will be according to fundamental principle of permutation combination x s will be have p minus 1 by 2 into q minus 1 by 2 choices it means s has a total members like this as x is equal to 1, so y has so many choices. If x is equal to 2, then y has the same choices. So on x has the number p minus 1 by 2, so y has the q minus 1 by 2 choices. So by using the fundamental principle of counting, s has a total number of choices. Yeah, we can say that s has a total number of members p minus 1 by 2 into q minus 1 by 2. And in this pair, no two numbers qx is equal to py are equal. In this pair, it is condition also given qx is never equal to py. How? Now, if we take qx is equal to py, then p will divide qx as gcd of p or q is 1, so p will divide x. So, which is not possible as x is less than p minus 1 by 2, so p can't divide x. So, which is a contradiction, it means qx is not equal to p, must. this will be must thing. So we have two choices, either qx is greater than py, either qx is less than py. According to this one, we have take two sets, s1 and s2. In one set, qx is greater, in other set, qx is less than py. Now take set s1, we have choices for x1 to p minus 1 by 2, and value of x is less than, and sorry, value of y is less than 2p by x, according to this one. If we take set s2, we have choices from x from, from here. We, are here. we have choices for x this one and y for choices 1 from q minus 1 by 2. Now we will count the total numbers of the members in the set s1 and s2. In set s1, y lies between 1 to q x y p. And we can say that 1 y lies between this. This is the greatest integer function. The total choices of y is q x upon p corresponding to p minus 1 by 2 choices of x. The total members in will be s will be greatest integer function of this and summation run from x1 to p minus 1 by 2. Similarly, total number of members in s2 will be this. Okay, so since both two sets are disjoint and the union is equal to s, so order of s1 plus order of s2 is equal to order of s. So order of s1 is this, order of s2 is this, and we know that in the previous slide, this is order of s. So we have proved this thing, this summation is equal to this. So we have proved this Gauss reciprocity law here.
now few there are the results corresponding to it uh, if p is a modulo congruent one modulo four and q is congruent to one modulo four then it is equal to one otherwise is equal to minus one how to prove it simple p is congruent to one modulo four so we can write p is equal to four k plus one similarly q is equal to four delta plus one put value of p and q here on simplification we get minus one k it is a positive so it is equal to one product of collagenous cool symbol is one if we take p congruent to 3 modulo 4 and q 3 modulo 4 we take their values we we put here in the reciprocity law we get here minus 1 raised power or number so we get minus 1 very easy to prove very easy to learn now another one if p is again previous result if p is congruent to 1 modulo 4 and q is congruent to 1 modulo 4 we have proved that he, their product is 1 by using the previous corollary now we have to show that pq is equal to q over 4p what to do this? You have to do, multiply both sides with the QP square. QP. Here it becomes QP square. And we know that square of a legendary symbol is always 1. So PQ is equal to QP. And we prove this. Similarly, we take another case. P is congruent to 3 modulo 4. And Q is 3 modulo 4. And we have proved that it is equal to minus 1. Multiplying both sides with the QP. Here it becomes QP square and we know that the square of Legendre symbol is equal to 1. So PQ is equal to minus QP. Now main important application of reciprocity law. As we prove that this is a reciprocity law. Multiplying both sides with the QP. We get here QP square and QP square will be 1. So we can change the Legendre symbol P over Q into Q over form. Q upon P form using this law. This is a very important application part. Now we will solve few questions related to this. Minus 42 divided by 61. So first of all remove negative integer. By dividing 42 with the 61. As we know minus 42 is congruent to 19. So 19 upon 61. It is a P over Q form. If P is less than Q. We will change it to Q by P form. By using the reciprocity law. So it will be changing to Q by P into minus 1 raised to power P minus 1 by 2, Q minus 1 by 2. On simplification, it, we will get it as 1. Now we simply solve it. Taking modulo 19, we get the 4 remainder. Dividing into 2 parts, 2 square upon 90. So we know that square of a quadrant, legendary symbol is always 1. Another example. Break 51 into 2 parts, 3 into 17. It is a break into 2 parts. This is the property of the legendary symbol. And we know that if any number of type 12k minus 1, then 3 is a quadratic residue of 7. So it is a 1. So 17 upon 71. Make it reverse using the reciprocity law. 71 upon 17 minus 1 to the power p minus 1 by 2, q minus 1 by 2. It will be 1. And we know that on division with the 71 on 17, we get remainder 3. Again, you can solve it using the reciprocity law and in reverse the expression. We get 2 by 3 and we know that 3 is a, if 3 is of type 8k plus 3 and then it is a quadratic non residue modulo 2. 2 is a non quadratic modulo 3. Okay. So in this way we have discussed example. Now here question is that we have to show that x square is congruent to 5 modulo 227 is soluble. How to check soluble? First of all we make a legendary symbol. If this legendary symbol it give 1 or minus 1 out according to this we will check it is whether it is a quadratic residue or not residue. simply you have to check whether 5 upon 227 is a quadratic residue or not if it is a quadratic residue then equation will be soluble using the reciprocity law we will interchange the values for simplification we get 2 by 5 okay and if 5 is written in the form 8k minus 3 form so 2 is a quadratic node residue of 5. So 2 is a node quadratic residue. So it is a minus 1. So given equation is not soluble. Another part. Here it is a minus. First of all make it as a positive. Using adding 83 in it. We get 60 upon 83. Make it factorization. Break into 4 parts. It is a scare. So it is, will be 1. Now only 2. These 3 2 parts. 2 parts remains. So reverse it using the Gauss reciprocity law. So values get interchange. On simplification dividing with 3 and 5 we get this thing. Again apply on upon 3 upon 5 Gauss reciprocity law. 
here it is there is a mistake it is the 5 it is a 3 on simplification we get this thing and dividing 5 with the 3 we get 2 by 3 it is a square of 2 by 3 so it will be 1 so its value will be 1 thank you very much for watching my videos